as she crushes your precious organ in her hand, everything goes dark, and you die. The Wraith. Ooh. You're on a path. Whoa, are we? <laughs> Is this the path? Again. <laughs> Good fool me. The deck's stacked, isn't it? The chain at his back! Us, uh, again. She kills us as a goddamn ghost. We start again. I'm starting to think we're being run in circles just for the sake of it. Come on. Let's not give in to all that misery just yet. There's got to be a way out of this. There's got to be a right answer. Yeah. And what if there isn't? Aren't you listening to me? What if... All of this was rigged from the start. And I think it is, but I think that's okay. Lots of spider webs that's here. That's ridiculous. There'd be no point in all of this if it was just some kind of cosmic busy work. I think that's exactly what it is. The powers that be seeing how many ways they can screw with us. Could be it's all some kind of sick joke to them. It's he's kind of accurate well, that in, a, in a way that's interesting. Uh, uh, boring. Okay, so you've already been here twice, even. Great. Then let me poke a few holes in your depressing little theory. Nobody here is screwing with you, and I can't imagine any scenario where you would have started over after slaying the princess. Uh, you tend to be accepting after a minute. Well, we didn't have to start over. We killed ourselves. And why, pray tell, did you do that? Because you decided to foist an infinite tedium on us. Yeah? That doesn't sound like me. That's true, if though. If I had everything my way, you would have effortlessly slain the princess, saved the world, and been given your happy ending. The ending was the tedium. You locked us in a cabin and sent that cabin to an endless void. And then you told us we were happy. Well, <laughs> were you happy? <laughs> of course we weren't happy. That's why we killed ourselves. It was awful. I think it's interesting that the narrator dictated that he was happy, but the hero absolutely was not. It like it didn't work on him, but it should have. It was boring. It was bullshit. So you killed yourself. Yes, and then she killed us. Even though she was already dead. This is all fake. <sighs> okay, let's try to get back on track. You're real. The princess is real. The world is real. The people in the world are real. And the danger she poses to all of them is also, quite unfortunately, real. Whatever you did the first time, it sounds like it almost worked. So how about you no, give it one last No, but it did work. Try? Because killing yourself seems to undo all the good you... No, no, narrator, you're not damage. listening. It did work, but we undid it. We decided to undo it because your conclusion was a little um, undeveloped. All this standing around and talking is boring. Let's at least do something. Maybe we'll kill her again. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll even free her. Yeah. Ooh, that's interesting. I like this. Let's see you what happens. Whoa. To my completion. Okay. Go further astray. All right. <laughs> We're in too deep. But I like that they didn't black it out. And instead it's like, no. No, no, no. And I'm like, okay. Uh, Let's try this. I guess I'm willing to talk now that I have several people within me. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Yeah, you know, like, you're saying, you know, like, they perceive twice 
but the one that's piling the body has perceived it so Those many more times. Have drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. But we are not going to do that, because we know- okay, yeah. Kill killing her doesn't work. Getting killed doesn't work. I'm committed to the idea. I feel like the headmates have made uh, the 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 uh, the the argument for trying to free convenient. her. Convenient. Everything always comes back to what you want us to do. I'm sick of him. Makes me want to end the world out of spite. Why not? If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. That's a hedge, not a wager. <laughs> I haven't met you. <laughs> me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So, yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Fair I'm enough. not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves, but he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of him for us. I had not considered that. They've clearly all been through some <laughs> My ears are open. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest well, how you about use my it. baggages, narrator. All right. You continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what it's you need to do. It's interesting how the cabin remains completely free. Like, it's not all covered up in trees or whatever. I think that's interesting. The more he talks, the more I'm interested in setting her free. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it, then. Let her out. See what I care. Okay. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. I've seen it. It's pretty good. Nah. The interior of the Ooh. cabin is long and dark. A single narrow hallway stretches oh, oh, oh. far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything. I forward. love how. This does not fit the outside shape, like, at all. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. Yeah, huh? What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? That is really good. That's really funny. Great. Something else has been taken away from us. No, no, that's fine though. It was part of the plan anyway. I would not have I taken the sword. The only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Blade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? You slowly make your way towards the gaping moor that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. We've always been watched. Hmm. You're watching us right now. Sometimes the feeling is just stronger than others. Oh, look how wobbly everything is. I feel is. like you're trying to put us on edge. We don't need all this anticipation. We just need this to be over. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway, I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. What are the odds she's waiting for us right now? Just out of sight, on the other side of that glass. Ah, uh, probably. You reach your arm Whoa. forward into the pitch black of the opening. Nothing. <laughs> it's like this place read our mind just to mess with us. What you're looking at, killer? Staring into the void? Thinking about what it'd be like to die again? I know exactly how you feel. Shit. 
Where is she? Uh, down there, I'm assuming. <laughs> Feel something long and frigid coil around oh. her ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Your bones snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. Oh, jeez. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. But do you know how eyes feel? I gave you a path to forgiveness. I gave you a chance to make things right. Yeah, but you were weird about it. Yeah, you're not mentioning that part. It was spooky. Also, I was role-playing as a real idiot. Look at my feet shapes. Oh, those are weird. I thought maybe you'd see what you've done and feel remorseful. Maybe try to make it up to me. But no. You'd rather use that knife to keep making the same mistake over and over and over. Not quite. I... The, you know what? I, I'm not going to try to defend myself. Up, you still cut me. And for what? I didn't go anywhere. You didn't banish me. I'm right back here with you. A little better, a little worse. See, Entity, I'm making you feel the fantastic emotion of spite. It's the worst. Well, maybe a lot worse. So, here's how this is going to go. I'm going to take your body, and I'm going to walk it out of here. You just broke my foot, by the way. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. But for real though, like if your plan was to walk out, this was a tactical mistake. I say we let her do it something different. Oh, honestly, yeah. Don't we I even have agree. a choice? No, I'm... You always have a choice. I am down. Maybe before, but not now. There isn't a blade this time. Exactly. What choice is there if there isn't a blade? Well, unless you have any specific ideas. I think <laughs> my vote's the only one that counts. Cold is funny. This would never work, and honestly, it's kind of, frankly, insulting that these are options. That's fine. Great! See you on a jiffy. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. It's, it's... Everything is bone, like this, you know, vertebrae, ribs, or pelvis. We still got the boo part. <laughs> that part is in skeleton. Her torso ah, this is some great art, though. ...touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from what? a fresh angle. Look at that, that is so good. Oh, that's so good. The art on this route, honestly, is so good. We get a lot of shading, too, which we kind of, like, wash. Like, we got, like, an ink wash effect, which we typically didn't really have. This is really sweet looking. Like, for real. Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her? <laughs> crush you along with her. Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. Not like this. You don't even have a weapon, so I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I and the rest of the world are out of luck too. And whose fault is it there isn't a weapon here? Yours, I assume. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Whatever you did in those previous lives of yours, you really messed up. Yeah, she used the fact that she is a ghost, that she's not chained to like, take it away or something. Are you seriously trying to blame this on us? No, I kind of get it. Your vision fades what? as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. 
It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. Oh, you know what's going on, buddy. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. I'd beg you to resist, but you've already surrendered your will to her, haven't you? Anything to get out of this hellhole. It's a new experience. You should try being possessed <laughs> sometime. I mean, I think that, honestly, I feel like that's fair. I feel that given what we've done to you, that is shockingly reasonable. And I, I mean this in the most positive way I can. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. Oh, no. <laughs> Lady, there are more efficient ways of moving than breaking the body and then reshaping it. You are hard to understand, though. But despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. Yeah, it did. If anything, it's getting further away. Is, is this what we're doing? We're walking down this hallway for infinity? Ooh, so I wonder if this is how the princess has been experiencing the space as an infinite space all this time, which is what kept her in here. And uh, it looks like whoever's driving is what guides how the place reacts to. Please, so, just let her out. The fact that it's our body doesn't matter. It's the fact that she's in control that does. It's pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. No, no screw what? that. The hallway gets even longer. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow! It really is, isn't it? Force of will. Isn't saying all of this his job? Ah. She took over, it's fine. He's gone. Oh, he really is, isn't he? Oh. I had a feeling you could deal with him for us. Oh. You like outwill them out of narration. I did nothing. He felt it himself. Or he gave up. This is it then. The big moment. I just hope it's a way out. The air is different here. We're us again. Well, that was fun. How interesting. We actually won! Didn't we? I mean, we are in the long quiet, so... Sure. What? What? What is happening to me? Yeah, this is what happens when you leave the cabin. Hands. It's all hands. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? It's all Where good. Is hell again? Why is it here? Why now? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's going to do something to us. I can feel it. You don't need to comfort them.
I keep being super mean and saying that. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I feel this like I've been pretty consistent about this. So, this is all going to work out? Gonna be real, I don't know what's gonna happen. Whatever but... makes you happy. I probably should have just gone and not said anything. My mistake. Oh! <laughs> oh no! There's a bird! Find Vilm Shadow just beyond the reflection. Hey, bird. I think you know what I am. Oh. That's you? You're a crow? Oh. Rude. 